God said, I, I, I sent the preachers to you. God said, I don't send the preachers to y'all. Yeah. He said, I rose up early to send the preachers to you. Yeah. He said, I don't send the preachers to you early. Come on, Zion, up yeah. in here. And I sent the preachers with a message. And the me see, this ain't the this ain't the message that the preachers preach today. See, right. he said, I gave the preachers a message. Yeah. What was the message? He said, go tell them, don't do this abominable thing. In other yeah. words, he said, I told them to go preach against sin. He said, I, I, I told them to go preach and to tell you that you ain't got, listen, don't keep living like this. Don't keep sinning like this. That's what the preacher's supposed to be doing. But now instead of, amen, right. preaching that right. message, yeah. what we done became, amen, is motivational speakers. True. See, now what's going to happen yeah. now is that the Jew, the body of Christ, has now called for the preachers to be motivators instead of preachers of righteousness. And so now we got churches that are full of motivational speakers right. who, amen, never mention sin, never preach against sin. If you ask them a question about what sin is, they won't answer you straight up. In other words, they'll find a way to twist and turn right. instead of coming right out. If you ask them, is adultery a sin? They ain't going to tell you adultery is a sin because they don't want to call sin a sin. If you ask them, is fornication a sin? They won't call fornication Ooh, a sin. Man. Come on, if you, if you ask them if a man lying is a sin, if you ask them is whoremongering a sin, if you ask them is blaspheming a sin, if you ask them if gluttonous is a, being, is a sin, if you ask them if pride and arrogance is a sin, if you ask them about covetousness, if you ask them about being a thief, about being a robber, if you ask them about rape, if you ask them about anything, ladies and gentlemen, That's they don't right. want to ask you to answer that. Why? Because they want to be motivational and inspirational and they don't want to talk about sin. But God sent preachers to preach against sin. Yes, he did. Huh? Mm -hmm. You want a motivational speaker, amen? Call Judge Mathis. Tell Judge Mathis, call Oprah Winfrey, call uh, somebody, amen. You call all these mo these motivational people, but if you want a preacher, call somebody who got the Holy Ghost. Call somebody amen. who been saved and sanctified for real. Call somebody who gonna cry loud and spare not. Amen. Call somebody who don't care what you say about them. Amen. Call somebody who willing to make you mad. Help you so. Huh? Call somebody who ain't going to talk about money and don't care how much you give. Give $10,000, but you're still in sin, and hey, man, you need to repent. Y'all ain't talking to me up in here. See, I, I'm, I'm here to tell you, I don't care what you give. I don't care what you do, praise be to God. I don't care how, how faithful you are. Hallelujah, God, amen. If you are in sin, if you're living in sin, if you're, amen, living unrighteously. That's right. Huh? The job of the preacher is to cry out against it. God said, I sent the preachers to you. Yeah. But you had itching ears, didn't you? You didn't want that kind of preacher. Mm -hmm. Huh? Preacher. You didn't want that kind of preacher. You, you went and heat those other preachers. You, you, you heat those motivational speakers on you. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Wanted to drive the Bentley. Y'all ain't talking to me up in here. The dry the Bentley won't preach on sin no more. Oh my God. Huh? Some of them started out preaching righteous. Yes. Huh? But money got the best of them. Mm -hmm. See, that's the problem. That's some things money shouldn't be able to buy.